a maxed out base inside Clash of Clans, guys. That's the dream. That's the hope. And there we go. My Town 11 village is maxed in 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. Boom! There we go. And level 175 is in the books as well. Welcome to the video. Let's get going. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Welcome, guys. Um, I just noticed my uh, quality in the opener was, I think, um, pretty bad. And that had to do with my settings be still being set to streaming. I uh, live streamed on Twitch earlier and uh, my internet is kind of bad, so I kind of have to turn down the bitrate really low and I think that really messed it up. So sorry for that. But yeah, there we are. Um, my builders don't show anything more to do. All builders are available and I have no buildings left to upgrade obviously i still have walls to max out but um yeah we are so, so gonna do that um, a bit slower obviously actually let me go ahead and show you guys that on my channel 11 main account maxwell account the one i started playing on so i still have 95 walls to get to level um, 11 and then i have uh, 40 more walls to get to level 12 and then i will completely 100 percent maxed i don't quite know um what i'm gonna do then probably some more of uh, these bad boys the um confetti cannons through the room but yeah i don't know i'm gonna come up with something for you guys um so yeah i just want to bring you up to date today with what i've been doing on this account lately what my goals are what my focuses are and uh, am i even still farming on this one so um yeah that's my first thought so let's get into a couple of raids and while we do those raids i'm gonna talk about what i'm doing on this account right now and here we go with the first raid um Found ourselves a nice and juicy base, uh, some good overall loot, and that's really what I'm looking for right now. So, uh, obviously being maxed out um, with the full Dark Elixir storage, as you guys can see. Um, yeah, it's sort of tough to find goals to farm for, but let me do this attack first, and then I'm going to talk about what I'm doing and why I'm doing that a bit later. So, where do we want to start this? Um, we definitely want to get the bottom, but I think we can get that pretty cheap. Let's just use a haste spell and then a couple of loons over here. A couple of minions in behind to snipe off those uh, those um, resource buildings, of course. And then I think we are just going to go... Oh, Jesus. The freaking clan castle. Just going to go crazy from over here anyways. So, yeah, there we go with the spammer loon. Get the warden going in behind. We actually have four haste spells for this one. I did not expect to have four haste spells, but it's all good. We're gonna make it work. Uh, we got another rage spell in a clan castle. Let's see. I probably wanna freeze the eagle to avoid the second shot. Mm, can get a poison going here. Rage. And then the warden ability because the warden is being targeted by that pesky eagle artillery so and uh, now that in um, a single inferno tower of course looks like the dragon is going to go down which is nice the eagle artillery is down and at this point uh, we can send in some more minions over here to get the town hall maybe mm, no the expo is going to be in range it's a bit unfortunate so at this point in time my goal is to pick up um, this other gold storage over here some more percentage points and then we're just gonna bail so um i'm not really going for the town hall i could probably get the town hall on this one which would also be an okay idea but i'm just gonna go for the storage and then end the raid uh, because um, all i'm really looking for is um, damage percentage to get the full leak bonus snipe off a bit of loot and then this is how i'm raiding so as you can see able to get um yeah sort of close to 500,000 gold and more than 600,000 elixir and yeah of course the dark elixir is insignificant at this point um so yeah that's how i'm raiding right now let me go ahead and request some new clan castle troops um this is the army i'm using uh, actually sorry uh, i'm going for two lava hounds right now um the army costs 1700 dark elixir so that's already less than a league bonus up here 26 balloons and then 25 minions, 2 haste spells, four, 3 rage spells and a free spell. So, um, as I already um, said, no buildings left to upgrade, so only walls is what I'm upgrading right now. And then, of course, the laboratory. I've got the skeleton spell going right now because the skeleton spell is pretty good. Um, 10 versus, uh, 11 versus 10 right now. 
whenever you are uh, dipping with mass lunatics skeleton spell is pretty solid i'm probably gonna upgrade my minions soon as well because i use those quite a lot so i've got a couple of dark elixir upgrades left in the laboratory and other than that, a couple of more um, insignificant things, at least for Tunnel 11. So yeah, every uh, two weeks or something, I'm restarting my laboratory. Other than that, it's pretty much only walls left. And I definitely have the desire to completely max out this account, which means that um, I'm going to max out all the walls as well, obviously. Laboratory is going to take a while, um, but that's not as important to me. The walls uh, definitely look cool and look like a maxed base, so we're gonna max those out. And that's what I'm farming for. As you can see, I'm pretty high in trophies again. I'm at... Um, in Titans 1 right now, 4768, so pretty close to Legends League already. I've sort of been half pushing, half um, farming. As I said, I don't really care about two or three stars, just about a lot of percentage. You can probably also see that in my attack logs. So yeah, there we go. 71%, 60%, 61, 72, 69, 100% it was a tunnel 10, 87, 83. So um, pretty much always getting the 70% is uh, of course good for the full league bonus. So with that, you're pretty much getting 320,000 gold every single raid. Um, just for the league bonus and then whenever you can pick up some extra loot that's cool as well obviously the league bonus up here is uh, 2200 dark elixir so as i said i don't have to worry about dark at all my dark elixir storage is um, always going to be full except when um, i start my laboratory again of course so yeah farming for walls i'm not really farming that hardcore of course because um, yeah a lot of walls left to do so it's pretty rough to um, kind of convince yourself to farm hours and hours sometimes i'm having fun um, going for some 11 attacks in multiplayer and I'm just um, yeah attacking for a bit couple of boosts or something um, I love boosting as you guys know and um, yeah that's what I'm doing just getting one stars for the most part getting a lot of league bonus don't really care I'm probably gonna venture my way back up into Legends League hopefully the clouds don't get too thick in low um, uh, Legends League but I think it's okay I think it gets really crazy like above 5400 or something and hopefully I'm not gonna go that high and um gonna have some okay clouds some nice leak bonus and then whenever i pop on hopefully i'll be able to do a couple of attacks and farm my walls so that's pretty much all i got left to do obviously doing a lot of clan war as well um i am at let's see 977 war stars right now so close to the 1000 war stars which is certainly going to be a huge milestone as well um I love donating, so my friend Anit is at 233,000 troops donated right now. Definitely looking forward to um, actually surpassing Stevo. So my level is 175 right now, and Stevo just hit one, level 181. And let's check that out. His friend Anit, so he's the top level player in our clan. His friend in need is at 286,000, so I need to donate about 50,000 more troops. And then uh, I'll probably be, because whenever we are in war right now, he's number one, I'm number two. I kind of don't like that. So my goal is to surpass him on the war map. And to do that, uh, I figure I need to be a higher level. And um, yeah, that's sort of little goals. So no big goals left to achieve. Heroes maxed, all the important troops maxed, all the buildings maxed, just the walls left to upgrade. And uh, yeah, just casually farming stuff up. It looks like we have the troops ready, except the Warden, don't care about that. We don't have a clan castle, but we don't need that to win a raid up here either. Uh, La Luna is so strong that you can just um, spam it on any base and get uh, the at least the one star. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just hanging out, grabbing some loot, and um, that's that. So not super exciting stuff, but this video is exciting, um, I think, because now I'm finally maxed, and I love that fact. But um, yeah... I haven't really been posting too many farming videos or stuff from this account because um, obviously, as I said, it's not that uh, mega exciting. By the way, we're going to hit the space as well just for uh, the sake of the video. didn't take too long to find it. So let's try and get maybe get 70% on this one again without a clan cast and without a grand one. Let's see if we are able to do that. Uh, we definitely need to get a bit smart to do that. So... I think I'm gonna start off by hopefully taking out this archer tower right here with three balloons. And then we are gonna place a couple of smart minions over here. Those should be able to pick up about six or seven percent along with that archer tower going down. Can place another minion over here. So guys, it's always about building new challenges for yourselves. Um, this time the challenge of course is to get 70% without Grand Warden and without um, a clan castle. So. 
Where do we want to deploy the most of our loons from? I think we are gonna go like this and then just deploy the heck out of this side. Get the haste spell going over there and there. Rage spell right here. Minions in behind. We are going to freeze the multi-targeting Inferno Tower. Get two more rage spells going over here. That should hopefully get us to around 50% and then we should hopefully be able to pick up the rest of the percentage with our heroes. That's the goal at least, that's the hope, that's the dream. The Eagle Artillery is still left standing, that's not too good, but we're gonna make it work. There goes King, Queen is coming in behind. And we have a couple of minions left still as well, I don't think we can snipe this army camp. But the Elixir Storage up top is gonna go down, that's awesome. Let's use the King ability before the Warden shot hits. We are at 64%, looks like we will be good to go for the full League bonus. Um, there's not a lot of loot in this um, base actually, but um, it's all good. We're gonna save a little bit of health on the Queen as well. We're gonna take out Enemy Queen. It's her fault if she's gonna step in our way. And there we go, 70% full League bonus, so that's sort of how I'm rating. And um, yeah, having fun with it. Of course, guys, we cannot end this video without upgrading some stuff. So we are going to upgrade one wall over here to the max level of level 12 with gold. And then we are going to upgrade one wall over here to level 12 with elixir. So there we go. That's a couple more walls and that's already going to do it for today's video. Almost going to do it for today's video because we have another one of those. So yeah. My account is maxed, Maxwell is maxed, I'm happy about that. Thank you for checking out the video and um, until the next time, I guess I will see you all later. Peace out.